Atomic, it's always safety first. During the previous lesson, we learned the importance of 6S methodology and how safety was added to the original 5S methodology. Today, we will be discussing about the safety precautions being practiced within Automex shop work area and maybe how you can apply these safety practices at home. Following these practices or guidelines will help you avoid accidents that may occur anytime during our shop work. First rule is always wear proper personal protective equipment or PPEs. At Automex, we highly require our students to wear the prescribed shop uniform and safety goggles before entering the shop work area. Students' baggage should also be stored or placed at the bag rack near the entrance of the shop work area. Other PPEs such as face shield, leather apron, gloves, welding mask is also a must depending on the task our students are assigned in. Most accidents in shop work happens because untrained students tend to operate tools, machines, and equipment without seeking the assistance and guidance of their teacher or shop assistant. Always remember that it is a must that one should not operate such machines and equipment unless there's an adult supervision or students are already trained. Several safety precaution signs are also posted throughout the shop work area. These signs are intended to be followed by everyone all the time. One of the most important precautionary or warning sign is with regards to horse playing. We all know the famous line of Don Bosco which is run, jump, shout, and play, but do not sin. However, running, jumping, shouting, and even playing is strictly prohibited within the premises of the shop work area, as these actions may cause serious accidents during shop. The question now is, if in case an accident occurred during shop work, what should the student do? First thing is, the student should seek the help of the teacher or the shop assistant. The teacher and shop assistant is responsible for determining the gravity of the situation or accident. Some minor injuries may be treated by the teacher through a first aid kit. However, if an injury can't be treated using a first aid kit, it is highly advisable that the student will go directly to the school clinic for further treatment. Automex students are expected to follow these guidelines and safety precautions every time that they enter the shop work area. It simply starts from wearing the prescribed shop uniform or PPE down to how we treat an injury during accidents. Observing safety precautions at Automex should be a daily habit, as these safety precautions may not only be applicable to school but also whenever we are.